welcome back um yeah i joined a uh international blitz uh international english dictionary uh scrabble tournament and we're gonna see if i can learn some of the words that i'll need to be playing um so i guess without too much further ado we'll figure out how to use this tool again it's been a little while um but we should be able to figure it out. Um, now, we don't want to spoil the daily challenge. And we do want to learn... Uh, is there a list? Yeah, the twos, the threes, the fours. Uh, we could pick our lexicon. So this is... Here's the 2019 Collins word list lexicon. The one that we're going to be playing with. Oh. The lists here are different based on which lexicon you're playing. So if you just want to know the answers here, you could use the flash card. Um, I guess we could flash that up on screen for a bit. How does this work? Wait, really? How is this better? Hint doesn't... <laughs> I mean, what could hint possibly mean in the context of a two-letter exercise? I'm ex expecting a traditional flashcard. Um, hmm. Sure, why not hint? I think it's AR, but... Yep. So A first. So yeah, I was right. And then we hit AR and space or tab. I guess it's enter, rather. All right, the letter R. So the hint will give you the first letter, I guess. That's kind of cool, maybe. It's got to be YU, right? Yep. Uh, now there's... Oh, this actually doesn't tell you, unlike the other exercise, this won't reveal how many two-letter words there are. I know that LA is a word. Um, the sixth tone of the diatonic scale. But how about L? What does L mean? The Indian mulberry tree. Or all. Okay. Alright. Ox is a word. Ock is a word. Expressing assent. Agreement. Yep. Apparently co is also a word, even though I've only heard this in the context of, like, uh, board games. Um, a Maori digging stick is a co. All right, Om is a chant, uh, an intoned Hindu sacred symbol, but apparently Mo is also a word. A moment? Oh, yeah, we've used that before. All right, id is a word. Oh, it's got multiple definitions, too. Uh, D? Why is D? What does this mean? Really? So, this Latin word is in the International Dictionary. That's cool. And then we've got if. Um, ab is a word. I think ba is also a word. Yeah, an abdominal muscle and ba is some deity. A soul in Egyptian religion, sure. Uh, I think both a and wa are words. I'm mistaken. Awe is a word, though. Um, a commonly used one, too. If you've seen people play Woogles before, you'll see that Zo has been played. Um, this is apparently what it means. Uh, a cross between a yak and a cow. See, also, all these other ways of spelling the word Zo. That's cool. EF, the letter F is a word, but I've seen FE played. What does F-E mean? Uh, Hebrew letter. Also fe or pe. Alright. And then there's a and he. Uh, there's ad and da. Uh, da. The heavy Burmese knife. I thought it had a different meaning, but we'll take it. Et is the past tense of eat. Uh, wait, is this also recognized as the diatonic thing? 
Okay. Yes. I've used that before in the music theory. Did not know. It, evidently, it's recognized in the International Scrabble Dictionary, Tay. Um. All right. Uh, I don't know. Is this? It's got to be Rue, right? No. What does Ur mean? <laughs> Wait. U R is how you spell uh, a word for expressing hesitation. Not E R, but U R. Okay. How do you learn this stuff? Um. Ak is not valid. Ka. To serve. Also K. Alright. They recognize SH as an interjection requesting silence. This is not in the US English dictionary, just the international one. No and on should be familiar to all of us. B is familiar to all of us. It and TR. Ah uh, ah uh, is lava. Um, I've seen nigh played before, but I don't remember what it means. To approach. Alright. He is a garment? No, a spirit of martial art. Oi is an interjection. Io is, I don't know, a cry of joy. Alright, in is a word. I've tried knee quite a few times. Knee is not valid. Oot is uh, one of the soulfish. Yep. Um, we know go. Um, the letter M and the word me. Oh, that's right. We've seen if you're doing if you've done any amount of CSS, you've probably seen M as a measurement in printing. But it it's not just a CSS thing. Anyway, so yeah, me. Well, okay, yes, it does have that definition. It's also me, but it's me. Ew is an interjection. We is familiar to all of us. O-E is one of those fun English Scrabble words that you play all the time. Um, apparently, this is a simpler definition than the one in the U.S. dictionary, where it's like some whirlwind in some special island. All right, we know Anne and Na. Uh, oh, well, this is a different definition of Na. No, it's not. But it has this word Scots in front of it. Huh. All right. We know by. Huh. Are you kidding me? There's a word here. It's got to be ST. But that's not sh. It's another word that means hush. All right, we know am and ma. Ma meaning mother. We know is, and we might not know c, but c is one of those soulfish things. Yeah, an earlier form of t, the seventh tone of the diatonic scale. Um, then there's ye, hear ye, hear ye, or you. There is HM, the interjection. Um, there's the Greek letter mu, and there's also um. Uh, this is the Latin word for bone. And then there's so. We all know so. We know my. I hadn't. I've seen this played many a time, but what is ee? -E? An I. It's interesting what things make it into the International Dictionary. Letter S. And there's us. And there's on or un for one. Um, a spelling of one intended to reflect a dialectical or informal pronunciation. <laughs> okay. Interesting. And then new... Oh, that's right. I've been stumped on that one before. We know bi is a recently added word for a bisexual. X. 
uh, she, the 14th letter of the Greek alphabet, also a common Scrabble word, <laughs> as, uh, here, gi is a garment. Yeah, I confused that with ki earlier. Gi is the garment. Um, ki is the spirit or study of martial arts. Ab is a short for, oh, it's also short for objection. Bo is a pal or buddy. Uh, I think or we all know, but ro I think is, um, oh, I'm mistaken. It's just or. I thought ro is another one of those letters. No, I'm thinking R-H-O. We know X. Um, well, there aren't very many words that start with the Y, so it's got to be K-Y. Cattle. All right. There's do or do. What's odd? A hypothetical force supposed by Reichenbach to account for magnetism. <laughs> That's cool. Phi to disapprove. That's a different way of spelling phi. Yo! Uh, calling for attention. Oi is in our interjection. No. It's a grandchild. All right. Ag is agriculture. Um, hmm. Is it goo? It is. But that's also a uh, so goo. Uh, old Shetland vial. All right. To rouse loathing in. So you can spell that without an H. Well, no, U-G-H is an interjection, but UG is to arouse loathing. Fine. Lee is another one of the solfege. No, it's a unit distance. I knew that. Um, op is operation, but also PO is, uh, really, short for chamber pot. I thought I had a different definition. I can have more than one definition, but, um... No, that's what it means here, so it takes an S. Um, pause, apparent. It's also a hill fort. All right. Uh, we've seen Zay before. It's another one of those pronouns. Um, and there's two. Uh, AI, I think. A three-toed sloth in Tupi. I don't even know what Tupi is. Uh, jaw. Uh, German for yes. And there's up. Low. I. CH is referenced in uh, Better Know a Letter. As a dialect form of I. C-H-E. Huh. Strange. And there's Chi, also from Better Know a Letter. Um, a life force. There's A. Uh, there's A uh and Ha. Joe is a uh, sweetheart. Yes, but it comes from Scots. Fine. There's Chu. Uh, Vietnamese currency. I guess it's pronounced Sao. And then I think there's both Ow and Wo. Um, we know what Ow means, but Wo is short for W-O-E. So this is an archaic way to spell that. And then there's Of. And if you watched, uh, I forget who it was recently, but somebody spelled Fo, uh, F-O, and it was not valid. O-O is something life-related. No, it's wool. Strange. L is an elevated platform. Um, A is a Greek letter. Oh, that's right. Yes, F E and P E are the same Greek letter or Hebrew letter. De. Um, yeah, that's borrowed from Latin, but it's common enough that it doesn't have the Latin connotation anymore. Uh, ed is education. 
OU. What does OU mean again? A South African for a man or a bloke. Yeah, we know MM. Expressing agreement or enjoyment. There's pizza. Um, there's fa, another solfege. N, the letter N. Oh, also, yeah, there's M and N, which are both um, printing units of measurement. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, my overlay looks fine. Um, I think N-E is another way of saying N-A-Y. Not conjunction or nor as an adverb. Hmm. All right, and then AE is yes. Uh, I'm sorry, it's one. What's EA? Never, I don't remember EA. A river. All right, and then there's at and ta that we both know. Both of which we know, rather. Although I thought ta had some other... Hmm. As in... Well, I was th first thinking it was music, but it's not. I was thinking ta-da, but that's not a word. But okay, it means thank you. And then there's this interjection for hesitation, and then there's ray, the solfege. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Um there's A well we saw AE means one. What does AY mean? An affirmative vote. Don't get those two confused. I mean, Scrabble won't hurt you for getting them mixed up, but yeah, this is just a lot to take in. An Asian pair. And then there's interjection. Oh, it also means to stop. What's the etymology for that one, I wonder? Like, where does this to stop come from? I'll have to look that up sometime. And then there's this other solfege word. And then there's hi. We all know hi. This quiz is completed. Hooray. All right. So that's the quiz. I don't know why we call it a quiz, because the next logical thing to do is go back over here and instead of playing it in flashcard mode, um, I mean, yeah, we could pick this one out and just play it. This is the actual quiz. Save our progress as we learn stuff, sure, and let's start. All right, J A C H F Y Z E. K Y O O S T I O O I I. Now it shows you next to uh, each alphagram how many there are, which is a bit sad. Because I would not have remembered G U, but I did remember U G. So Bo and Ab uh, are both not in U S English. Um. O U, A E and E A. Ak and Ko. I think it was U as a currency. And um I think er. And we can show the solutions to see these are the words that we just learned. All twenty-five of them that aren't in US English, but are in the International English Dictionary. Probably should have started here first. So yeah, there's two, at least two different ways to use this site. There's more than two. Um, but yeah, apparently why you means a precious, precious jade. Um, I.O. is a cry of joy. Oh, never mind. This also includes words that are from the other dictionary. 
but only by way of the corresponding to a word that's not in the other dictionary. That's what stumped me. I'm like, hey, some of this looks surprising. So E E O O S T U R E A a river. Um K O a digging stick. And you don't have to know the definitions, but some of these can to the extent that these relate to words that I uh may have studied in Latin. Um or otherwise heard of, uh, just knowing the definition will help me remind myself that it is a word. But yeah, these are the twos that we gotta know, and we kind of sort of mostly know them. But we'll see uh, when the time comes for us to actually play games, if we can remind or remember ourselves uh, what's going on here. All right, we should, we did this backwards though. We should have started with threes that are not in the North American word list. So let's study these. Um, now some of these we might have already known from having watched players play on Woogles. Uh, so Vo, um, it's a bay or a creek. Isn't Evo a word? Yeah, evening. It's gotta be yo, right? It's not yo. What is it? What's the hint? Oh, it's the beginning, so it's gotta be O-Y-E. A grandchild. Oh, we saw that in the two-letter word list, didn't we? It's just a different way to spell it. Is it lup? It's not lup. Is it you? Oh. A coin of a... Afghanistan. That. Try saying that quickly. Coin of Afghanistan. There we go. That's a pool. Um, what else is there though? Oh, PLU? What does this mean? A beaver pelt for trading. Alright. Isn't it WAF? It's not. Is it FA? A gypsy. Well, old is in the U.S. English book. Um, so what's the word that we're looking for? It's got to be lod then. Logarithm of odds. Oh, well that's cool. But I was assuming D-O-L was another... Th no? Okay, so this does accept words that are in the other book. Um... But the other word they're going to be looking for is dull, right? A unit of pain intensity. So we know U.S. English accepts rue um, to feel sorrow or remorse. Um, isn't eru in the international book? No. Okay, what's the word? U-R-E. <laughs> An obsolete word for an extinct wild ox. We all know boa. Um, looking at these letters, I'm guessing a bow. Uh, oh, it's an offensive word. Cool. Um, I am out of guesses. All right, Oba is a West African ruler. And that's not all. There's another word here. Bow. Uh, steamed dumpling. Um, oh, I think I've seen that word used before. So it's Chinese for steamed dumpling. Yeah. You know, emo. Uh, moe. A wry face. Uh, chin. This a zither. Um, and the zither is just, it's not exactly a guitar because it doesn't have much of the shape of a guitar, but it's a whole bunch of strings that are together on a board. Uh, so there's pug. T 
to fill with clear mortar. Sure, we'll take that. And the only other way these could be pronounced would be gup. To gossip. A's would be the S's. No? Does not accept an S. Alright. What does this even start with? Because these are all pronounceable. EAs. A river takes an S. Alright, what else can we start with? S. Oh, C, of course. But. Um, S A E. That's a word, an adverb in Scottish for so. We all know cot. If there's another word, it's got to be talk, right? Uh, communications code for a letter T. Uh, I think I've seen Rav played before. I'm mistaken. Is it R? To warn. Vor, voring, vors. All right. Isn't OG a Japanese? No. Um, is it Geo? A gully or a creek? Also pronounced or spelled G E O. All right. Um, rock. An enormous bird of Arabian legend. Um, what else could I spell out of this? Orc, perhaps? No. I mean, it's silly for me to have tried this flashcard without actually having seen the words before. K-O-R. A Hebrew unit of measure. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> Kaz for casual? That's funny. Les. Short for lesbian. Uh, but what else? Could be Zell. An oriental symbol in Turkish. Alright. I've seen this play before. To do. Um, cha. You know. That's colloquial for tea. This is a phony, isn't it? Ka. Yeah. Uh, is it hack, then? No, what could it be? There's only six ways to do this. Um, is it ACH? It is. Re uh, regret or impatience. Interesting that that made it into the book. We all know the U.S. English din. But what else could it be? Is it... I don't even know. What would this start with? Uh, if it starts at the N, it's not N-D-I. So that's not pronounceable, so it's N-I-D. A pheasant's nest. We all know Den. Ned. Uh, oh, Ned, a young hooligan. End. All right. Um, is it going to be fag or gef? Fag is segment of an orange. In it's, uh, Scots for one. Scots Dictionary has quite a few words in it. Uh, nay. It's another way to spell no. Um. Hmm. Yin to give birth to, to yin. All right. Is this agu? No. Is it gua? Gao. A political district. Oh, did not know that. Now I know. Gov for governor. Um, VOG? Air pollution caused by volcanic dust. That's cool. Bod. Bod is not valid. I thought it would mean like fodder or something. Um, doff. Alright, I know there's an Eng uh, 
uh, I don't know what you'd say British English word, doff, D-O-F-F, but D-O-F here just means stupid. Sin, we all know, is ins valid? It is, to take in, to harvest. Um, hmm. Only four more possibilities here. I don't want to mess up, but... <sighs> NIS? Scandinavian folklore. Brownie or goblin? Wait, a brownie or a goblin? In Scandinavian folklore. Alright. I'll take it. Judd? A massive coal. Ready for removal. Bass. An, an anatomical duct. Yep, I've seen that before. Sav is short for a savaloy, a highly seasoned sausage. So many abbreviations in this book, I swear. Um, U.S. English, a person's sweetheart or lover. Jeez, is a wig. All right. Um... Eam, I guess means an uncle. Okay, there's only three ways to spell this. Um, and I got it wrong, so it's M E E. May, a Malaysian noodle food. Huh, I've not had that. Up two, three, four. That shouting hup to the horse. I think pause. Yeah, an interjection. His, we all know. She? Huh. She is not valid. Um. SIH? It's also invalid. Okay, what it was to start with? I. ISH. Ish. In Scots Law, an issue is an ish. <laughs> All right. Sov, short for sovereign, or gold coin. Okay, I don't. S yeah. This is funny. It's gotta be T Y G because there's no other way to pronounce this. An old drinking cup with two or more handles. I've seen one of those. That's pretty funny. At least I think it was a drinking cup. Yes. All right. Um, EYS. It's not valid. Um, Psi to strain. Say a part of a carcass of beef. All right. Yam, I believe I've seen before. A Jewish day in a religious context. Yom. Yeah. Um, is moi valid? It is. A coin or a measure? This is way too much for me to take in at once. Huh. Strain. Okay, so WOF is slang for a fool or an idiot. Not to be confused with the file format WOFF. Yeah, this WF just means fool or idiot. Um, J I. It's another way to sprout or spell I. Um, but what else could there be? What does this start with? E C H. T E K. Huh. Way to go, Shakespeare, for making English exciting. Or at least recording it for the rest of us. Zim? No. Miz? Colloquial for misery. Alright. Zul? No? I'll use Z. I guess the lesson I'm learning is that if I don't know the word, it probably ends in Z. A supposedly indestructible, 
bone in the soccer room. All right. Um, now I've heard of Lodgeman. Is L O J? It's not. J O L. To have a good time, to jaw. Makes sense. We all know Rad. Um, but what else could it be? Hard? Kind of primitive plow. Yid. It's offensive. Yeah, we've heard that before. KUE, perhaps? Letter Q is KUE. Isn't it uke short for ukulele? Yeah. Um, what's the other word of these three or four? E U K. What is this? To itch. Did not know that. A K A. Aka, New Zealand vine. New Zealand and some of these countries have a lot of really strange or interesting things. Is this ACA? Or is it just Ka with an extra A? To call. Hmm. Alright. Well, if there's an X here, it's got to be the last letter, unless there's some special... Yeah. Wex is obsolete to wax. It'd be hard to pronounce words that start with an X, although some do exist. But you'd see them played a lot more in Scrabble if they were there. Uh, writ? To scratch or to score? Okay. Not what I would have guessed, but sure. Yen is a currency. Also, a desire or yearn. Nai uh, is to draw near. Uh, I don't know. Is it Y-O-G, perhaps? Is it G-O-I? Another offensive word. Not cool. Um, I don't know what the other word could be. Y-G-O. To go. To move along. Yep, that makes sense. Uh, is this a word? Volcanic cone. Wait, we've got 53 words quizzed out of 250. This is going to be fun when it comes time to actually play this game. <laughs> uh, this is a degree, right? No, it's a, it's a pike. Deg is short for degree? No, to water. All right. Nye, we've seen before. As NY and NYE. K to serve. Um, is eek valid? No. Is Kia a parrot? Is ache? Really? It's another way to spell ache. Just shows how English has evolved over the years, hasn't it? Hob to furnish with hobnails. Um, B-O-H, I guess, to startle. Maz, we know the oh, well, has another definition. A home or house in southern France. Um, hmm. What else could be here? Sam? From Spencer, together. Okay. What else could be here? <laughs> Sma. Alright. Small. In Scottish. Alright. We know bug. I guess gub must be the other one to strike on the mouth. Um. A U Y. So we're running out of the A words here. No, I'm sorry, these aren't in any particular order, are they? Yuwa? So Yuan is a currency. Yuwa is not a word. Ayu, perhaps. Um, 
Small Japanese Edible Fish. Why have I not heard of this one? Um, a Foreigner. We know, all know Sud. But I think DSU's... No. What else could this be? Hint. UDS. An interjection. <laughs> Meaning God save. Can you imagine if we started using all of these on a regular basis and they became unarchaic? Wouldn't that be great? Mac to make. Um, the only other way I know to pronounce this would be cam. Crooked or awry. Um, there's only one way I know how to pronounce that. Maori. The yellow eye mullet. Awa. All right, reg, uh, short for reg, or reg for regulation. <sighs> I know in Word Freak, they say G-E-R is not a word. All right, here it is. It's a word. Um, in Mongolian, it's another name for a felt tent. Now there's another word here. All right. Erg, is this ergonomic sort of thing? I can't type it all, can I? No. A unit of work in a Saharan area of shifting sand. Uh, and noun also has a form A-R-E-G. Is it Ike? Is it Kai? Is it A? All right, I'm bad at guessing these. What is it? Ike, this way, to augment. Um, Bab, it's not valid. Ab, a woof, a woof yarn? That must be wool. Um, we all know Guy. But the only way I know to pronounce this elsewise is Yug. One of the four Hindu ages of the world. Also Yuga. Um, now, if I've got a vowel, it's got to go in the middle of the word. Nim? As a Nim War. A dispute about the right to publish material on the internet under a fictitious name. Really? And this isn't even like colloquial or it's not attributed to any kind of special dictionary. It's just this is an internationally accepted word that's not in US English. We all know rug. Um, so what's gur? Sweet cane sugar, also gore. We all know I. We all know yay. Um, I think ye to yin? No, that's not valid. Uh, heck if I know. Hint, hint. What could this mean? Oh, it's Scott's uh, dictionary. Y A E. It's another way to spell one. Cool. Rem to remove? No. Radiation dose. Oh, I knew this. I think I saw that either on Monroe's comic about radiation, or his infographic, or on some related document I saw that REM is the unit of radiation dosage, dosage or a, a measure of its effect. Um, what else could it be? Mer? It's not valid. ERM to hesitate or doubt an interjection. It's got to be a plural OUS for bloke. Uh, USO perhaps? No. OSU? OSU's not in the book yet. Somebody work on getting it there. Sal. A former French coin. 
tid. This is a state of mind or a mood. Dit to block. All right. Here, enjoy this one. Oh, TWP is an anagram for township. No, but um, dimwitted or stupid. That's funny. How many such words are there in this book for derogatory things? Too many. Um, and CAG is short for a cogule, a light anorak. Um, I'm assuming that's just a color or something. I don't know. Uh, Yak is a, a silly buddy. Oh. Oh, well, that fun thing that we saw so much of on uh, kids' shows. Yeah. Uh, apparently it comes from a darker time. Exo is Australian for excellent. Y-U-E is not a word. So what is it? Okay, yeah, I'm not going to guess that. A U-turn is a U-E. That's funny. Um, Gus. Shetland Vile. Alright. Uh, how about this? Sug. To attempt to sell a product while purporting to be engaged in market research. How apt. Oh, that is our word of the day, is a sug. If you just read what's going on with this GameStop thing. Anyway, um, hmm, what else is there? Uggs? To arouse loathing in. Then, a uh, wet land with alkaline neutral or only slightly acid PD soil. Neff, an elaborate table decoration in the shape of a ship. That's cool. Uh, this must be Old English, Een, right? Or, yeah, of a woman born with an original name. Um, well, we have E E N. You can turns out you can spell it any of those three ways. Poetic word for evening. Wait, really? Okay. I don't know that I've ever seen a poem that uses E-N-E -E to mean evening. We all know run. So what a, oh, we all know earn. So the only way I can think to pronounce this some other way be N-U-R? A knot in wood. Also pronounced or spelled all these other different ways. Yeah, each one of those is in the dictionary, but you won't see that until you get to the fours. <laughs> um. All right. Lur, a Bronze Age trumpet. It's covalent? No. Okay, what is this? Oak, O U K, a week. So many fun words. We all know die. Is I'd, oh, a fish of the carp family. All right, Dei is related to God. It's the plural form of Deus. We know ego. Um, goe? A gully or a creek? Hmm. Did not know that. Apparently there's yet another word here. How would you even spell it? Geo. Another word for gully or creek. We all know let. Uh, tell, I think is... Uh, I was gonna say some word for telephone, but... An era of lands, a hill or ancient mount formed from accumulated debris from earlier mud or wattle habitations. 
is a tell. Uh, another way to pronounce these letters would be Elt. A young sow. All right. Um. Hmm. Ios. Cry of joy. Ios. Cry of joy. No. All right. Um. Oh, interjection. Plural form. No. Here it means a New Zealand bird. Yeah, interjections don't take plurals, but this is valid anyway. ISO is an isometric. An isolated replay. The fact that I don't know what that means, I, I would think it would refer to either. Hmm. Just means I don't know words. Doesn't mean anything about the validity of the word. Well, I'm tempted... I am tempted to think of CID for content ID, but no, here it means a chief captain or hero. We know kit. A uh, tick has got to be valid then. A drug. Sweet. Now we'll learn all the fun words you never teach you in school. All right, so Jor, Indian music, the second movement of a raga. You should learn more about the Raga someday. Um, ifs and ands and buts. Things that might have happened, but did not. Um, hmm. Nas is a uh, <laughs> contraction of ne, has, has not, and ne was, was not. Strange. But there's more ways to spell words with an S. Well, San. Short for a sanatorium. All right. Gil is gold. No, it's not. Lig. Uh, oh, to lie. I was thinking ligature, but yeah, okay. Sure. Uh, we all know wag. So I guess Ga must be valid. An imperfect rainbow. Or other sign. Or other supposed sign of coming weather. We all know her. I have no idea what else this could spell. R-E-H. An accumulation of salts on soil. Um, it's got to be W-S, right? A Welsh term in addressing a companion. Non. Oh. Borrowed straight from Latin into English. Known. All right, we'll take it. Uh, well. It's not accepted. Lou. A unit of Bulgarian currency. Also, Lev. Rip. Um... P-I-R, I guess? A Muslim title of honor given to a holy man. All right. Now we got pen. Um, I guess it's got to be nep, then. Catmint. A plant that is attractive to cats. All right. Um, roo for kangaroo? Yeah. Um, I guess oro. It's not valid. Or means our belonging to us. Uh, I have no idea. There's only three ways to do that. Utu, a settlement of a debt. Maori has some interesting words that you'll never hear conventionally here, but maybe someday. What does dot mean? To dip. All right. Um, a bok, a goat, or an antelope. I've heard bok choy, so that's what made me think this might be a valid word, but cop, a reddish brown antelope. You all know this one. 
Uh, is Bopo valid? What is Oop? To bind with thread. Ren to run. Okay. Um, is ERN valid? Milton to earn. What is the Milton dictionary? I've not heard of it. Zoes. So it's Zo cross between yak and a cow. We saw in the two word list or two letter word list. Um. Um. No idea. S O Z. Short for sorry. I've seen this before. I've seen Zex before. A chopper for trimming slate. That's a pretty heavy duty chopper because slate being a rock requires a special kind of chopper. Is mole for mulberry? No. Oh, that's right. Molecular concentration. But there's another. Is it going to be Ulm? A kind of blind cave dwelling salamander is an Ulm. Bum is a fable Chinese phoenix. Aji, a spicy pepper. Uh, I guess Gia? J. Hindi, onward to victory. All right. Is the X valid? It is. To hiccup. Zaw, we've seen played before. No, I'm imagining things. All right, what could it be? W A Z. To urinate. <laughs> cool. We know knob. It's bon. Yeah. Wet. Um. To you? To hustle? Ut? A newt. Alright. We all know she and he's. Um, I guess, yeah, they accept a plural form of he in this dictionary. Um, as? To say the word a uh, to express inquiry. Use a Chinese, uh, I'm sorry, Chinese for a precious jade. It's you. New now. Ono is a fish. Yes. Oh, and then O O N is an oven in Scots. All right. You know, bod. Colloquial for person. So dob means what? To inform or to inform on or to betray is to dob. We don't use that every day. Les. It's another way of spelling les. Um, L's, elevated platforms. Cell. Uh, Self. Okay. Um, I think. This was no. What does W E K mean? It doesn't mean anything. How can you make a word out of this? Uk. To itch. Also spelled all those other different ways to itch. Lu is a language, but it's not accepted here. Um. Lao. It's not valid. All? All right, how do you spell something out of this? A-L-U, arithmetic logic unit, but here it means a potato, also a lu. Lu to love, jin to jin. Uh, this offensive word's not in there. Um, ing, a meadow. Vap? Have? 
Oh, hey, I was short for a pavlova, a dessert. That's one they had on MasterChef, if I remember right. Uh, we all know odd. So what's the word that's not in U.S. English? I guess if it's pronounceable, it must be dodd. Scots, to thump to knack is to dodd. Sog, to soak. Uh, I guess goes. <laughs> you pluralize the game of Go with an S. Yeah, you learn something every day. Um... I don't see a word here. What is it? V-L-Y. A low-lying ground where a shallow lake forms in the wet season. Also, vle. Alright. Um, well, we know per. Pretty sure rep is in here. To act as a commercial representative. What else could it be out of these three letters? Um, three, the four. Oh, that's it. All right. Her is an idiot, or uh, rather a dog. Is crew valid? It is a vineyard. Um, is this valid? Rock, a enormous bird of Arabian legend. Also, rock. We're going to see that over and over. I'm eventually going to remember it, maybe. Uh, it's ref to referee. For. Means for. ERF. A garden plot in South Africa. Alright. Mao. It's mouth. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. Irk. An aircraftsman. Not heard it used that way. Tia. That's not valid. Tai. A Japanese sea bream. I'm not sure what bream refers to. I'm assuming it means like a wave or something. Or a animal. Um, is Eta in here? The Materi Palm. What else could it be? AIT. Small Island. No reference to which dictionary, so it must be fairly common. Um, Poa. A grass plant. Apo, short for a poly. <laughs> Wait, I pronounce this a polypoprotein. No, I see lipo in the middle. Apolipoprotein. So, apo is short for apolipoprotein, which is a protein type. Um, it's pow valid. Opa, a grandfather, also Upa. Soy, Yos? No. All right, what is it? Boys, a grandchild. Bio, biography, Obi, witchcraft. That's cool. I think we've seen that in our looking at other word lists somehow. Um, but what else could there be? No idea. Hint, 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 boy. Slang, I see. Lesbian who adopts a boyish appearance or manners. Alright, no idea on this one either. Uva. Grape like berry. Bow. The sixth letter of Hebrew. Bow. The head. Wop. To thump. To whap. To wop. 
Oh, I've seen these letters played in some combination. How do you play them? No idea. All right, A U E. An exclamation of pain. Well, oh, there's more than one way to play these too. All right, what do we have now? E A U. A river or water? I've seen a city name that has that. So now I know that that's acceptable here. That's cool. All right, it's got to be hull. An exclamation. No, to stop. All right. Oh, and it accepts uh, E, D, I, N, G, and S. Wow. Um, Rudd to Redden. I don't suppose the Durr is accepted? No. What could it be this time? Erd. An annual bean grown in India is an bird. We all know na. It's an interjection. Um, Han from Spencer, a third person plural of have. Okay, that's cool. They from. Hawks to hamstring. Docs is a new word to publish personal information about um, a person on the internet. Obs for objection. Uh, we know sob. Is BOS valid? Uh, pal or buddy takes an S. Um, uh, we saw za is pizza. Is Zay accepted? Didn't think so. A's? It's not Zia? How do you spell something out of these? Z. Part of a cereal plant. <laughs> Once used as a diuretic. That's, um, use that with care. Ked is a wingless fly that infests sheep. Um, what is this? DZO. We've seen this before. Also DSO. Another, like, cross between yak and cow is EO. You could spell it all these different ways. Um, wait. Z-H-O. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I was wondering, how did I know this? Or how did this come to me so quickly? We all know four. What is... Okay. Um, orf. A viral infection of sheep. There's another one, fro. Alright. Short for afro. They, a uh, bay or a creek, also vo. Ave, to hail. Ah, we've only got a hundred of these left. Hooray. O's to stop. O's to interject. But what's the special word? So? Okay, yeah. It's another form of SOL, soul. Show? Non standard spelling is sure. Uh, for show. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, southern US. That's about right. Surprised that made it into the book. But why should anything surprise me? Okay, what in the world is this? Sly. The Australian game of two up. Alright. Uh, if there's a word here, it starts with a P, right? E O U. U P O. Upon. Alright. What's the word it wants me to find? Oop. 
to bind with thread. Now we saw that with OOP as well. Cab, we all know. Back for bacteria? No, baccalaureate. My mistake. Vax to vaccination. Sol, sulfage. Lows to praise. Boo. Um, isn't it boo? Yeah. Obo. A vessel for carrying oil in bulk ore. I've not had one of those before. Um, non is the leavened bread. What is ANN? The half year's stipend, payable to a minister's wife on his death. All right, well, good to know. Uh, is CYL valid? No, apply. To seize or to steal. Uh, how about pwn? To dominate. Yep. Taz sat. Um, oh, so ta here refers to expression meaning thank you. Um, asked? No. What could it be this time? Hint. A T S. Monetary unit of Laos. A derogatory word? No. To splash or spatter. All right. Uh, another. There we go. Vulgar South African feces. Rubbish. That's cool. Vid for video. Div. In Persian legend, an evil spirit. Wow, so every time you get a web page and it's got a div in it, you're summoning an evil spirit. Also, it's div. Alright, get is an idiot, but also to get. Um, what does tig mean? To touch. Alright. Uh, vague is to rest someone for vagrancy. Sar refers to savior. Um, I don't think this is valid. It is an Ethiopian prince. So whereas Ra is not valid, Raz is an Ethiopian prince. Um, the letter R, A-R, plural form. Uh, we all know Ray. So is it Yar? Nimble? Okay. Is Airy valid? Uh, it's a dialect for any. Alright, I don't know what the remaining one could be, though. Rhea. A hand of woven rug. Man, this game is tricky. I don't think everyone, or rather, players probably know most of these words. Pros will know them all. Uh, being an amateur, what could I possibly know? Maz, bad luck. Foul? No. Ua? Alf? Elf's child. How? Vietnamese currency. I've seen that before. Poet stop. Yawn. Over there. Um. Is noi valid? It is. To annoy. What else could there be? Oni. Scott's Dictionary all means any. They have fun ways of spelling words, don't they? Right, what in this? What is this? R-H-Y. That's another way to spell rye. We all know or. Um, 
row mass of fish eggs. What else could there be? I don't know. Rio. It's a language for Maori. We all know Rub. I think we've seen Brew before somehow. South African word for Paler Buddy. Herb would be city related, no? An urban area. Is burr valid? To remove a rough edge to burr. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Con. To know. To con. Hmm. Ba. To fall. That could be a useful one. Goo. Uh, Shetland vial. Yod. Uh, Hebrew letter. Uh, is it Dio? Is it Doi? A loved one. We all know Sod. How about Dose? Oh, we saw a DSO before. It's another way to spell Zo. Uh, but Deuce does a party a celebration. There's another word here. Odds? Yep. Magnetism. Spiritual force thing. Um... C-A-S, plural for pizzas. But what's the one that's not in U.S. English? What's the one here? I don't know. S-A-Z. Stringed instrument. Man, there's a lot of fun instruments. Drunk or befuddled. It's fat, right? Um, Noakes is night. Oh, short for nitrogen oxide. Fine, we'll take it. Jack. Uh, East Indian tree of the breadfruit family. Also jackfruit or jackfruit. Tick. Two twitch. Sit is the only way I can spell pronounceable word here. Contemptuous term for one who's not a gentleman. And I think I've seen before to know. Um, neck is a call or a pass on a mountain range. Hmm. We're not going to remember any of these definitions, but if we can remember the words, that'll be good enough for later. We'll eventually learn uh, or remember some of these definitions. They say after minute 40 or something in a lecture, you've lost your attention span and aren't going to retain information. And it's important to take breaks from time to time, but I'm just trying to blitz through the list. Um, drunk. But it also means a bushel. That takes an S. All right, but is O U F a word? No. Is Fu a word? No. UFO. Uh, oh, U F O. Wow, that's a word, even though it's pronounced U F O. This of all the words in the list, of all 191 we've seen so far, that's the one surprising me the most. Because it's pronounced UFO. I don't think I've heard it pronounced any other way. But there it is in the book. Um, I guess it's common enough in use that like, you have to accommodate for it somehow. Uh, size a monkey. AIs. Um, Three-toed sloth. You all know Jug. Um... How in the world do you spell something that could be pronounced for these other? Um, I don't know. 
How do you pronounce that? An old Shetland vial. So G U G U E G J U are all that Shetland vial thing. Nog to fill space in a wall. Gone, a geometrical grade. Like a polygon, I guess. So if you have a two gone, a three gone, a four gone, that determines the number of sides of a polygon. But maybe it has some other um, geometric meaning. Um, I think ZIR is a pronoun. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Riz. To rise, to move upward. Hawk. This. Cho. Book. An interjection. Expressing regret or impatience. Huh. Cat. Shrub. Also spelled Q-A-T. This is why we've seen it used so frequently in Scrabble. Tack. Scott's Dictionary to take. Moo. Uh, is um valid? Uncle. Ski. Ski is um, Japanese spirit of martial art. This S-I-K. Oh, did not expect it to come from Australian, but okay. Means excellent. Do a dove or pigeon. Is this limb? A bloodhound. That's the lime, okay. Is this invalid? No, var. Unit of reactive power. What else could be here? Rav? A uh, rabbi. Yeah, okay, I've seen this before. Um. Aya. A maid or a nurse? Lou Monetary units. Uh, Huel. Central American rubber tree. Also Huel with an H. All right. We all know man. Uh, is Nam. The action of taking another's goods by distraint. I assume distraint means constraint or something. I'm not sure. Um, what else could there be? MNA. A Greek weight. That's cool. Bar. Raph is not valid. Arf. Yeah. Now there's some other non- U.S. English word in here, which is fra. Brother. All right. Sin. Uh, oh, since. I was thinking it would be like synagogue or something. Uh, nice. It's not. What else could it be? How do you spell something that can be pronounced? Sni. A side channel of a river. To bleat like a goat is to ma. Um, how about am? No, how about AMA? Native maid servant or child's nurse. Um, yep, an offensive word. Um, but it's valid in the game. All right, what's the word here? D U X. A leader. All right. That's good to know. There's in one of the Phoenix Wright games, there's a word that ends in DUX, so maybe I can remember this. I don't know. Um, so, Yad, a handheld pointer used for reading the Torah. That's cool. It makes sense they'd invent something like that. Or you have something like that. 
Um, that's cool. Is Z a word? No, it's B E Z. The second tine of a deer's horn is the best. Okay, that's interesting. Um, there's too many options here. What is it? T. T. All right. Yuck. To laugh loudly to yuck. All right, but there's another word. Q. A novice grade in judo. All right. Vol. In heraldry, two wings that are displayed and conjoined. Um, makes sense. Ball is not in here. Laugh is not in here. Flaw? I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. I'm burned out a bit. Elf. I'm still curious, but... Some of these are tricky to guess. I've not been to Australia. Um, uncultivated Australian. Ziz to take a nap. As loy something for alloy? A long, narrow spade with the footrest on one side of the handle. Huh. What would such a thing be used for? Oh, if, if it's got a footrest on the side of the handle, you could use that to help dig, I guess. Tex. Linear density of yarn. I've actually seen that used before. Uh... So, fun thing. Uh, Word Freak references a seven-letter bingo, M-U-U-M-U-U-S. It says it's the least likely seven-letter word. Um, or least probable to appear as the first word in the game. But, um, yeah, M-U-U -U is not valid, so what is it? Umu? A type of Maori oven? All right. We all know a rod. So what else could be here? Door, perhaps? To mock or scoff at? But throw? No. Ord is an ordinal? No. Ord is an appoint of a weapon. Why do I think I've heard that before? We all know tan. We all know ant. Uh, is a gnat here? A nationalist. We know cow. Um, branch of twigs. Walk is a pan. We all know hay. I guess high is valid. To hasten. Uh, is it Y-E-H? Another word to say yes. F I I think is valid. It's a newt. Fet. To fetch. Oh, there's another word here. What could this one be? Tef. Amharic. A kind of cereal grass. Alright, let's hear this time. Wokes. To treat with wax. It's to wax. Alright. Alm is an... No, alm is an alms is not valid. Lamb is to beat. Uh, male. Okay. Interesting. Pain or sickness. Um, and here to lep. Is this like to schlep? Oh, to leap. Is pell a word? A word for a pixel. A pell. Okay. Um, it's caw a word. It is to caw, to cry like a crow. Um, whack is not in here. What else could caw be? Awk. Oh, we saw this the other day. 
I was surprised, and I'm still surprised, that this language is accepted as a word, whereas other languages might not be accepted as words. Um, I guess this one's just that common that uh, it's in the book already. Sir, honor above, may, sword for more, aim, soul, we, the game console, <laughs> e, a large Maori tribe, sometimes the entire Maori nation. All right, emu, the flightless bird, mua, no. What could this be? Boom. In Japanese, a fleshy yellow fruit similar to an apricot, but having a sour flavor. Ume. I wonder if Rachel and June have ever used that. Mew. The plant bald money. This mew. Uh, how do you spell something with that? Zol, a cigarette with cannabis in it. Um, ifs, perhaps? Um, uh, I don't suppose you could do this with solfege. No, couldn't think so. Um, so what else could be here? Sif. Oh, disgusting or syphilitic. All right. Way. Water. No way. <laughs> uh, sui. Yeah, of himself. Hooray for occasional Latin words. Way. Measure weight for dry goods. And U is a tree. Yeah. There's a third word here. What is this? Y. The letter Y. As you could spell it. There's MOV, the move instruction for. No. I guess it's not accepted. VOM. VOM, short to vomit. Said is just as common as awk. Um, but okay. To say, to utter in words, to speak. Didn't know you could do uh, said as some form of say. I think we've seen DES. No? Uh, what else could this mean? Eds. Oh, right. Short for education. Um, Sue. It's not in here. Oh, so it's not in there. So it's just ooze. Wool. Um, hoy, I think is going to be there. To urge, to incite. Hayo? No. I'm oh, sorry, we moved on. Hoy. Uh, hui? A Maori gathering. Mew. Of a cat to make a cry. There's another word. Uh, well, the womb or belly. Okay, zop. No, pose. Positive. I see. Beck. Keb. Keb, to give birth to a premature lamb. I'll keep that in mind. We all know Rob. We all know Orb. Um, is perhaps boar? No, bro is in here. Is boar in there? An East Angelian form of address meaning neighbor is boar. Hmm. Or East Anglian. I guess it's like East Angola. Uh, Kia? Hi? A meal. Cat. Uh, rotting flesh. Rue. A cow. Alright, that's 250 words. They say you're supposed to take a break in order to be able to learn things efficiently. 
Um, I don't know, should we take a short break here? Or should we switch things up a bit? Try um, Aerolith lists, the Collins word list, just all the threes, 50 per round, five minutes. Perhaps we'll try this. Um, got a blinding light. I'm going to try to see what I can do to suppress here. Hopefully not break everything, but... Let's auto save and start the challenge. And zoom in a little bit because this one might require some attention. I'll try to block out this extra sunlight that's coming from an undesirable direction. Well, there's nothing I can do to block sunlight that's seriously distracting me here. Other than just wait for the sun to move. Oh well, we'll see what we can do here. So some of these words should be quite common. Bomb, I think. Yep. Nut. Eek. Eek. The other eek. Uh, oh. I'm surprised to see PST in there. Um. Log. VYL, I think. Nope. Pal and wop. Ticks. Uh, bed. Dead. I guess it's true that I haven't studied the US English threes list yet. So, um, I've done the best I can to try to prepare given what time I have available. I thought I'd have more time to prepare. Um, Oops, I meant to type gut and tug. Day. Um. M. Yay. Meh. But I'm not sure if on some of these. We've already tried nut, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. AUA, I think we've seen before. We've seen docs. And things can only get better. So even if we're not ready for today's game or this weekend's game, um, we'll still do the best we can. Come on, Tom. Joe. We've already done lug. Goal is a word? Okay. Eem. E E M. It's not valid. Um, I think K is a word. It's not. So, and unlike previous times, this time because I've auto save selected, I don't want to auto save words that I spell wrong. Those should not get removed from my list. I should have to do those again. Um. 
But yeah, I've seen Souk before. Um, Max. Cha. I don't know, Hack, perhaps? Yeah, so we're going to leave that one. I don't know where my timer went. Oh, it's right at the top of the screen. Um, yeah, oh, that's right. I could stop this at any time. Uh, Daya. Yeah, let's... Well, I'm not going to get any more works in the, a lot of time. Let's just let it run out. So we got... About half the words. Um, you could do better. So there was one in here that I eventually got by accident. Wait, there's some option in this dialogue to mark that you've missed the word, even though you actually scored it. Um, so, yeah, we want to mark that that we missed. Um... Were there other words that I got that there was one in particular, and I don't remember which it was that I got by guessing. Um, oh, I can't mark these as no, I did miss them, so I don't have that option. Um, oh, I missed ham. Wow, that's sad and funny. Um, yeah, I don't remember which of these that I got that I want to mark missed. I guess it'll just go forgotten, whichever one it was. I think it was eel. Um, I tried ELE. Oh, ticks for tickets. Okay, that's cool. Um, nug. This is not an exclusive word to either dictionary. It's just, I didn't know this one. Maybe we should observe a couple games. I'm trying to think of... Eventually we're going to come back here and play some chess. Um, I need to make some kind of a logical breaking point before then. But how do we do this? 